me a talking, man. We are live. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, South Florida. Hello, world. Yes, this is Robert Henderson, Jr., certified financial planner, certified tax coach, live in the beautiful studios of the Henderson Financial Group. Joining me here live in the studios is my wonderful, talented sister-in-law, business partner, vice president of the Henderson Financial Group, Linda V. Harris. We were just sitting here having a com conversation and I didn't hit live, you know? We were talking, yeah, right? But this conversation, stuff. Yeah. Probably should have been recording it because it's just how we talk. That's just how the show runs. Yes, live. You know? Dinner yeah. table conversation. Good morning, Robert. Happy Black History Month. Yes, yes. Uh, it's only 12 days uh, into the month. I've been to least... three events. Oh, you have? <laughs> black History Month? Blackly Black, Black, oh, Black man. History Month. Yeah. You know, you know. I, I did not know, mm -hmm. Linda, believe it or not. You ever heard this guy, uh, uh, Scott Joplin? A lot of the songs. Dun 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 I'm learning now. Moses is teaching me. I'm reading the notes this time, you know? Ooh. Scott Joplin. Look him up. Scott Joplin, man. Ragtime. He was a bad boy, boy. The wow. Talented. Wow. Trailblazer. Yeah. Dun, 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 Wow. Dun, 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 You hear that all the time over your lifetime. Uh, yes. From westerns to never musicals. Knew yes. Never knew Scott Joplin hmm. was, was a, a black, black man. man. And wrote that hit music that we, right now you hear Broadway's, western mo movies. And I was a brother. Wow. That's amazing, man. It's so much. So I'm glad, you know, black history, learning a whole, whole lot. When you, when you learn about black history and mm -hmm. you see exactly how much contributions that we've made just to mankind, you know, you can't think, you can't help but wonder, why didn't we notice? I mean, I'm 63 years old. And I'm still learning about, you know, a lot of things, the black inventions. And what, why do you, I mean, it's just been hid, man. And and some people just, you know, think it's okay. And, and it's purposely been hidden. A lot of things have purposely been hidden from black folks about all the contributions. Not only back black folks, it's been hidden from the world. White people too. A lot of good white people didn't know that, you know, somebody black invented the traffic light. You know what I mean? Wow. Well, you know, you leave it up to uh, the governor here. You're not allowed to teach it in schools now. Uh, anything to make the anybody feel uncomfortable. You're not allowed to teach black history. You're not allowed to say gay. You're not allowed to discuss LGBT. It's just, with, 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 as, as someone said, we're, we're hitting the, the, the nail with the hammer. There is no crisis and they're creating it. But you know, Robert, I want to say you are black history. Yeah, I am. Yes. You are too. Okay, I'll take it. All right. I mean, well, how can I be black history and you can't be? But no, you are black history. One of uh well, you are black history too. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm black history, you are why, why are you saying like I am and you not? You make it seem like, but if I'm black history, you are too. As uh the less than one percent of black CFPs, and, oh yeah, and you know what I'm saying, and, and to start a successful firm and, and to and, educate our community for almost 30, 30 plus years, years. Yeah, yeah you are black history yeah they've been trying to get me oh they've been trying to take me off oh they've been at me for 30 years 30 years 30 and, years and so when when we tell the story and and people say i remember robert henderson jr was my grandmother's financial advisor and that's she true. passed it down to my mother and that's true and we have third generation clients yes, we do you are black history yes we mm -hmm. do real talk and good thing I found something that I really like to do because <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to do to make a living. <laughs> but then I said, wow, why don't I just study money since I didn't have any money? <laughs> that was good. That was a good choice, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are so excited to be here with you. Linda, my sister-in-law and myself, Robert Henderson, president and founder of the Henderson Financial Group. You know, as I was thinking, because I was reading something mm -hmm. the other day. And it was, it was talking about Social Security, you know, and think about black history. Not only have a lot of black history, our history have been secret and, and untold to many people, not only to black people, but the world. You know, when I look back at my age now, 63 years old, I'll be 64 this year. Mm -hmm. When I look back mm -hmm. and, I, and, 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 and just go through, you know, how the path has been for me, I got to say, 
there was a lot of lies and untold stories Ooh. in terms of wealth building and who to follow, gotcha. you know, and, and, gotcha. and then, and just, just the system that we live in. Now don't get me well, wrong. Maybe not lies. Maybe they no. uh, ignorant. Maybe they didn't know. I'll give you a perfect one. They're, st they're still lying about and they're Ooh. scaring the people. Okay. How they say social security ain't going to be around. Might not be around. Now that's we've been hearing that a long time. A long time, and you know what that really does. So why why would they put that out there? Why would the system allow uh, uh, and put those numbers saying it's just going to last until you know 2034 is only enough money? I mean, why would they say that? Because it's twofold. You know, mm -hmm. it's always something going on. Mm -hmm. It's a reason why they push you in the corner. Why they, you know. Uh, uh, set things up to, to make you feel that you have no other choice but to do something when you always have choices you know well the reason why for social security how mm -hmm. they try to scare the dickens out of all of us so we can take it early mm -hmm. is because they want to start getting taxes plus 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 the longer you wait the more they have to pay the system mm -hmm. has to pay so if you go to your 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 uh required Retirement age. Okay. Let's say mine is 67 years old. Okay. And I'm supposed to start that. That's when I can start you taking are eligible. my eligible. I'm eligible. My full retirement age. You can go but I'm going to wait until, you know, I'm 70. Why? Because every year from 67, no, actually mine is 66.7. Okay. But every year I wait to, de to, to delay my Social Security, I get an 8% raise. That the federal government yes, has to, has to pay, pay me more. For the rest of your life. That's right. More. If you wait. That's right. Okay. So, so getting to that 70, you know, it, it, let me tell you something. I was looking at someone's social security. Now, if mm -hmm. they took it now, they was getting ready to retire. The lady is, uh, she will be 65 this next month. Okay. And if she takes a social security, takes a social security now, she'll get $1,800. Okay. But if she wait until, uh, and she wait until, uh, age 70, mm -hmm. She get almost a thousand dollars more per month. Waiting three years. Yes. Well, well, she still be sixty five. Five years. Five years. She'll okay. get almost a thousand dollars per month. Ooh, more. That's significant. More. Every more. month. Every month more than what she'll be getting now. If she get eighteen hundred dollars, she'll be getting uh, close to three thousand dollars a month. So you say just waiting five just waiting five years and one of the lies there they tell people is you better be take it now. Or it might be over. It may be over. Some people take say it, it as be... soon as you're eligible. That's right. Wow. Now, why would they want to push you to take that? It's because the government has to pay you less. Gotcha. Another one that they lied about is this whole they, they know they're wrong, man. You know, they they really know, but they mm -hmm. know people are not um financially. Uh, astute okay most people are just trying to make a living and they just you know we just listen to other people our co-workers our friends right. our barbers our cousins right. you know who don't really know right this thing about postponing deferring taxes until later in the future mm. that, that, is, you know, that, that is so so when i look yeah, back that's the one they still telling too they, oh man and that's not ignorance they, they they still telling that but let me tell you something we got a lot of clients who are over 70 years old we got a lot of clients who's 70 years old and plus mm -hmm. now a lot of them have have saved their money financial plan we've been working with them for 20 30 years and they've done a, we've done a really good job helping them and now they're 72 years old mm -hmm. and they have to whether they like it whether they need it or not they have to take their invest some of their money it's called required minimum distribution mm -hmm. and the government says okay you postpone paying taxes for your retirement right now you better you got to take it out if you don't take it out they'll penalize you why do they want you to take money out that you probably don't need because you set up a good financial plan because they want to get the money for taxes They're trying to get it back from you yeah. and then why if you have social security going mm -hmm. and you also have to take out minimum requirement or uh, uh required minimum distribution now you got to take more out now they're going to tax you even more so the more money you get from your pension the more money you get from social security the more money you get from from uh your, uh, your 401k the higher and more taxes you got to pay and they set all this up like a bowling ball thing you know they really played us over 20 30 years the problem also is there are not enough people like me that has gotten to this age to say man we've been duped that's As the problem opposed to them taking it when 15 years ago when the tax uh rate was probably lower because it well, never goes well right now the, the rates are, are lower Right now they low and they still there are people that saying I'm getting ready to retire in five years. Mm -hmm. Let me postpone paying the taxes, more taxes now. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Gotcha. But the people who are doing that, 
they don't know because there's no one really saying, hey, let's walk this through. Do you want to pay taxes on the seed or the harvest? And they go, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, well, do mm -hmm. you want to pay taxes on when the money is smaller or do you want to put more money in and the money is bigger mm -hmm. and then pay tax on that? Mm -hmm. You want to pay taxes on a smaller item than a bigger item, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But some people say, no, I'm going to retire, so I've got to put a whole lot of extra money in. No. that's Well, our 70-year-old clients that deferred and kicked the can down the road back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, their tax rate was lower than today. Yeah. And had they taken that out. So now we're here today and we're talking about the same thing. Yeah. Deferral, well, well deferral, and, and, deferral. and that's because the system, you know, like, like I said, the government giveth and the government taketh away. Always know that, you know, when something, the low hanging fruit, mm -hmm. they, they, especially from the government, the government, you know, we are the government. They kind of know what they're doing. No, kind of know what they're doing. They do know <laughs> what they're doing. They just figure most people don't don't understand math or they don't understand the system. They don't understand finance. So good gotcha. morning. Always say good morning to the people who, right. who are joining us, our crew. Let's start off with Carol Mill. How you doing, Carol? Good morning. Good morning. Brenda Moore. Doretha, good morning. Hey, there go Donna Mays. Good morning, Donna. Good, uh, Joe Witherspoon. Joe, we got it going for you, brother. We got you. Black Bolt. It brings all things out. You got that right. June, Danny, how you doing, June? Miss Joanne Witherspoon. They got Ronnie Gerbis. How you doing, Miss Gerbis? There go Shay. Shay, how you doing? Tracy. Uh, we got Ricardo Blondet, Brenda Brown, Miss Redhead, Mr. Redhead, Denise Ward, P. Parnell. Hey, DeLawrence. Okay. Gang is falling all in here. Make sure you guys share, 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 because what we want to go over today is because not, you know, it's like going through the Wizard of Oz, that yellow big road. Mm -hmm. and, okay. and 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 <laughs> the problem is most people who get up there and find out it's little Toto and it's no big wizard, they don't come back and warn the people who go on through the struggle and say, Listen, don't believe the hype. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. That's the problem. They keep, but I'm the type of person I'm gonna say, Hey, y'all, there is no wizard. You're gonna tell uh, me, yeah. I'm gonna say they lying. They lying. And them little monkeys and flying around you and Dorothy and all. I'm I'm gonna tell you. There's I, no I, great wizard. Right. All right we'll it's you. Like it. it is you. So the title, what I was thinking about is mm -hmm. financial planning process and things that I wish I would have known when I was much younger. Okay. I picked up on it. Okay. But there are some people still don't understand the steps in financial planning. And if you all have kids or, or if some of you Jesus. all in your 30, 40 years old, or they will be with you forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because we are, mm. we are getting to the haves and the have nots. I'm telling you, yeah. you're either going to have some money or you ain't going to have no money, you know? And, and, and then I'm going to tell you, when you don't have money, you don't have a lot of options. Your choices are limited. I want to say that again. People mm. say, Robert, you love money. No, no, no. Money is not my God. No, I do not love money. I love how, what I can do with money. Mm -hmm. I can help more people with money. I could try to bring some sort of equality in with money. I don't have to eat mud pies when I have money. So in other words, money gives me choices. I don't look at money the way most people look at money. I really don't. I, I, I just don't because I'm, I, I'm over that. I did that, done that, got a T-shirt. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm in a position where I can really tell you, listen, let's look at this from a bird's eye point of view. What are you doing? Show me somebody who walks in a room who has all kind of gold and diamonds and Louis and Prada and, and all this. I'll show you somebody who's very insecure and saying, look at, look at me, look at me. I need some attention. You agree? <laughs> I mean, you got nice earrings on. I mean, I mean boy, was that? I mean, maybe they just like Prada. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm, I'm saying when you I'm a over, bling girl. No, maybe I'm just... saying when you overlook like Mr. T and you got to do all this and you got to tell somebody, listen, you know, you know, like I was just reading this, mm -hmm. this guy, uh, Fat Joe. I was just oh, reading. the $4 million watch? This guy. That's amazing. Think I think about it's what... just a loner. I, he can't be that. He can't think about what he's saying. Okay. He tells everyone that he has a four and a half million dollar watch on with diamonds everywhere. Mm -hmm. And he's going to put it on him. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got richest people in the world, the top 100 richest people in the world. He ain't nowhere there. He ain't nowhere there. Do you see them with a watch on? You see them even talking about a diamond 
what? No, it just shows ignorance. It's so like he hadn't been there before, you know, and he wants to brag. And the only thing he's doing is facilitating ignorance to other generations, to smaller generations, because rather than having a four million dollar watch that he can glorify, why don't he go? and build a whole little area with real estate and housing and development, something that he's going to have a legacy. You know what I mean? Why don't he do that? Because let me tell you something. His partner that's dead, Big Pond, Big Punisher, used to be my client. Know. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he, Big Punisher, don't want to be a what? what Don't want to be a what? Player, player no more. more. Yeah. yeah, he was a client of ours. That's yes, right. yes. He's dead. And when he was a client of ours, let me tell you something. If he made $100,000 this week, he spent $200,000 this week. I told by that name. Okay, you still don't talk about me. Oh, so let me tell you something. I, I, 20 years ago, that's all I used to do is deal with entertainers and athletes. That's a Wizard of Oz story. <laughs> that, let me tell you something. Oh, my God. You'll come back and tell it. Oh. I'm coming back and tell it. <laughs> that is the Wizard of Oz story. Do I seek them out? No. Oh, no, no, no. I like good old mom and pop people who saying, okay, people who want to get it. Because let me tell you something. You can tell people mm -hmm. how they, the, the way how people spend their money is how they get it. When they get the money fast, ill-gotten gains, or just money just coming fast, oftentimes those people about to lose their mind because they cannot believe they're making money for saying, hello, and they made a million dollars. More than likely, they got psychological problems because they go, oh, my God, I cannot believe this. Let me walk down the street butt naked. They lose it. Those are not the kind of clients that Henderson Financial Group <laughs> want. I have people say, hey, come, come get so-and-so. He's this and that. I say, don't want him. I don't want to have a hundred little babies I gotta run behind about their money. No, I like y'all. That's who <laughs> we like y'all. You are our base. People that say, listen, help me. I want more. Uh -huh. And you listen. Now you're not our base if we tell you to listen so we can have a plan so you can get to the promised land. No, you're not our base. We like the ones who want educational, who wants to be educated. And they want to upward mobility and they want they know how to, they want to learn how to use money to help them mm -hmm. to be prosperous mm -hmm. and help their family and their children and their community. Those are our clients. OK, now I, I start regurgitating. <laughs> show me someone who just want to show out bling bling. I'll show you someone who's lacking in other areas. All right. Now, I'm not saying if you have the money not to buy nice things because we we all got nice things. We really do. I mean, we 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 live good. We we definitely eat good. Right? <laughs> yeah. We 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 love to travel, and you know, we like to find the things in life, and that's what money does gives us options. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But a lot of people. There's so many. That's what I mean by there's so many lies and just so much. And this social media, Linda. Oh my God, I feel so bad I for feel the youth. Bad. Uh, now that's that's a double edged sword. It. it it was supposed to just connect us and look at the grandkids and, and keep up with family far, far away. And it has become a whole nother monster of uh, look at me. Um, I got lies. more than you. It's just a, it's a whole nother lifestyle and lies. And, you know? and people that they look at social media and Twitter and they say, mm -hmm. look at me, look what I got. Look how I'm looking. Look how beautiful I am. You're not. And I did not know that <clears throat> suicide. People die of suicide more than they die of murder. Ooh. Ouch. People are killing themselves more than other people killing them. Ouch. Did you know that? No. Yes. And the young people are really, yeah, it's a lot really of, yeah. committing suicide. It's because they feel no hope. They feel they can't get it, you know? I, I mean, it, 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 it really... It, miss it, America or Miss... Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, I mean it, 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 it's a lot so of pressure. Sad. It's but then it's a lot of pressure because a lot of people line the Wizard of Oz. It's not really what it really is. And people feel less up because they feel they can't eat at the Chateau Inn, you know, or they don't make enough money. They really, at really Komodo. feel. <laughs> at Komodo. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, P, for introducing me <laughs> to Komodo. <laughs> don't have to go again, but it was it was interesting. All right. All right. So, so what would you do differently and how can we share this with our clients and, and listeners, especially the ones that have children and grandchildren, so that we, we can, um, they don't feel this sense of I haven't accomplished and 
look at this uh, internet star or, or, or this Instagram star and look at me. Just the best way to make money is $1 at a time. Plan it, get yourself a plan and work your plan. And like you said, there's some things I always tell people, I don't want to be young again, but I want my money to be young. Yeah, you do. You, you know what I mean? And so the things that you're about to go over, the mistakes or things you may have done differently, y'all really want to share, especially with the youngins. Right. Especially. You know, you know, you know and I was talking about how deception mm -hmm. and lies mm -hmm. and people not telling the truth. You know, I just got a new client. Okay. This guy makes $2 million a year. Guess what he does? What? Guess what he does? He makes two million dollars a year. Someone referred to me, for, referred him to me, mm -hmm. and he said, "Mr. Henderson, I need your help." Mm -hmm. So I looked and I said, well, "You're making two million dollars a year. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. you know what he's doing? What's that? He's teaching stock trading. <laughs> Good for him. Good for him. Good for him. Where's the deception? Where do you think the deception is? He's making two million dollars a year. He came to me. He want me to do his be his financial planning. That's good. That's good. That was a good step." But he's making $2 million a year. And he came to me to help him do his financial plan. He's teaching. He's teaching stock he's trading. He's teaching what he, he wants you to help him with. No. Let me tell you where the Wizard of Oz come in at. <laughs> so I say, okay, out of this $2 million, you're teaching how to stock market and how to make money in the stock market, right? So I say, well, okay, out of this teaching, so you get the fees and you get they sign up, you know, and they take your course and all that, right? And he says, Yes. I said, well, how much money have you personally made in from market. in the market? And he says, oh, very little. I said, no, you teaching this stuff. And he says, no, but I'm selling my packages. And I said, so you selling the kit on how to do this. And that's how you made $2 million. You didn't make $2 million because you actually could not, you know, you, you, you did some stock trading and you made all the money. You know, no. No, you making the so money. He's not investing in the market. He's not practicing what he preached. No, he's just upselling and, and the platinum and the gold and buy my kit. Right. Wow. Right. Wow. He's like somebody telling you, take this mat, drink this magic portion, and grow a lot of hair. And he, you don't have no hair. So I'm gonna say, why but he don't got you rich. Drink it? No, right. no, but no, but he got rich selling the portion. <laughs> <laughs> and if you, <laughs> so, so that's what I'm saying, man. It's so much okay. out here, so much deception, and you being young, and a lot of people, even older people, we people are looking for answers. Yeah, they really are. They really are. That's why I, I want to talk to you all and say, let's go through these steps. Now, listen, I put out six steps. Okay. First thing, the first step. Mm -hmm. Me and my brother James T always talking about this. And this okay. and this is a step that you really need. And, and it's like a come to Jesus moment. Okay. This step that you, this first step, you really, really, you gotta, I don't care if you go in the closet. I don't care if you, you know, go in the bathroom, in the mirror, but have a conversation with yourself. You have to know this first step and mm -hmm. you have to understand this first step mm -hmm. because this first step is the beginning of wisdom okay. and understanding. The first step is, Budgeting, how much money is coming in, and how much seems money is so coming simple. out? Yes, but you know what, Linda? I like you said. I like that you said it seems so simple. Mm -hmm. The good Lord, Jesus, <laughs> the good Lord. <laughs> is it Robert getting ready to preach? Yeah, when you start off with the good Lord, the good okay, Lord. Okay, uh huh. You know, a lot of the best things in life are simple. Mm. You know, like you know, when we was growing up, we didn't want just water. You know. We wanted soda and all the rest of the stuff. But when are we finding out as we get older, water is the Good best thing. Good old simple water. Good old simple water. You know what I mean? Now you pay for it. Now, they, now, now the water costs more than the sodas. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. But yeah. yeah, the simple things. It is simple. The good mm -hmm. Lord made simple, you know, like 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 uh air, you know? Simple. Simple. You know? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Golden simple. rule. Simple. 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 Is that hard to do? No, I mean, I, I'm not going to bust you in the head with a hammer because I don't want to bust get nobody to bust me in the head with a hammer. Simple, Simple golden rule, right? Okay, so budget. Why? Let's think about why is the budget the catalyst? Why it is is it the the zenith? Because it tells a lot. A budget is like monitoring your blood pressure. Mm. Metaphorically, you're mm -hmm. not seeing pictures, you know. You got you, got you, got you. Because you know you running right here, but if your blood pressure high, you could fall dead. <laughs> because really, 
your blood pressure is like if you're a car, it's like the oil mm -hmm. in your car. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you, you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Gotcha, it gotcha, runs gotcha. through, you know, your blood pressure. So a budget is like your money, your cash flow. It's going to tell you, oh, my God, I don't have it. Oh, my God, I got a lot. And if you got extra, oh, my God, I got extra. What do I do with it? I don't know what to do with it. What did you do with it? Oh, you want to spend some money on some bling bling? Let me do that, too. So a good old knowing what's but, coming in, right? knowing what's going out, knowing your monthly bills, not spending more than you than you than you have. Yeah. And don't finance your life on credit cards. Yeah. Budget. Okay. Good old That's budget. Simple, right? Okay. Budget. Mm -hmm. Budget. And, and when I on, as I was thinking, I was talking, I was thinking, because you know, I see in pictures and metaphors. I don't know why I get visuals when I'm talking. A budget is like I'm doing like Jesus and Matthews. What is heaven? <laughs> you know, and he kept saying, <laughs> What heaven is like, what heaven is like. Mm -hmm. What is a budget like? A budget is like. When you get in your car mm -hmm. and you, someone says, let's drive to Orlando and you in South Florida mm -hmm. and Orlando is north of South Florida and you get in your car, a budget is like looking at your gas meter saying, how much gas do I have? Okay. At least you check what? The gas meter. To know how far you can go. Absolutely. So you don't run out. Before you don't run out. Mm -hmm. Man, so it's so like running out of money if you don't have a budget. And that's what a lot of people happens every month. And what do they yeah. do? They charge it. Yeah. They charge it or they living beyond their means. But you know, these days, Rob, people need about two or three jobs. Even if you're not overspending just the cost of living, the rent, aluminum foil, gas. I was in Costco the other day looking for some lamb chops. <laughs> Those expensive, aren't they? What? I used to, I remember they used to be the same little pack, $24.68. I saw some T-bones, $114. I say all that to say budgeting is more important now than ever. Why you think ever? I, why you think I'm I'm liking it to okay. the blood in your system, you know? Why I'm liking it to, you know, so that's check. number one. Yes. Out budget. The gate. Okay. It's like, hey, did you take your high blood pressure pills? Did you did you monitor it? Because if you if you out of budget, like your high blood pressure, I mean, you could really faint, fall out, have a stroke, a lot of things. All so right. when you out of budget, you can have a lot of financial disasters. So understanding what's coming in and what's going out. You got to start that because that is the beginning. OK. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. OK. So budget. The second one is. Look at. After the budget, is mm -hmm. there enough to save and there is enough to invest? Now, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Inside of your budget, mm -hmm. just like your cell phone, okay. it's mandatory that you pay yourself at least 10% of what you bring in. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. You think that's hard to do? No. I think people, again, run out of money before the end of the month, and so they the first person that that sacrifices yourself because I, I i got two more weeks to my next paycheck and i'm going to run out of money so i won't pay myself this month and and it's just you get into that cycle of taking care of all these little bills except you and that's that's can be a habit yeah, it can be a habit that becomes a habit especially if you keep doing it and you're doing it yeah. and you put yourself last yeah. You know, you have got to take care of self first before you can really take care of other. You know, mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. if you just real, real weak. You can't help pull someone up if you're fra if you're frail and fragile. Mm -hmm. You 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 can help people when you're financially strong or even mentally strong. Mm -hmm. So that's why you know the law, the universal law rule. You gotta be true to thyself. You know, love thyself like you love your neighbor. I love the neighbor like you love yourself. Okay, so budgeting. That's why I'm saying it's so. So now the second one is mm -hmm. savings and investment. Okay. Inside of the budget, mm -hmm. you have got to make part of the budget paying myself. Okay. Because you right got to put you a, in the budget. You got to be rolled in. You rolled in. Listen, you rolled in the rent or the mortgage, the car note. Done it. You better roll. Yeah. You better write in the yeah. most important important person yeah. that makes all this happen and that is you yeah you got to you can't say uh, uh whatever's left no 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 gotcha. because in your budget guess who uh, who guess who's mandatory written in if you have a job and you have an employer uncle sam that's the whole thing yeah, about absolutely. payroll taxes mm -hmm. before you get your little hands on it mm -hmm. in your budget uncle sam is getting his or hers off the top okay 
Now, some people are good and they'll say, okay, I got a tie. Mm -hmm. But you too, you are in there. You do. So you got to change that. And I wish that I had known that mm -hmm. when, you know, I was 19 years old. So Start young. save it. So budget, write you in the budget mm -hmm. and you got to have a savings and an investment That's part of that budget the other thing is when you start your job they jedi mind you and tell you listen do you want to um do you want to um be a part of the company's 401k plan mm -hmm. now let me tell you something that's twofold too. I told you, if you're going to be a part of the company's 401k plan, I'd rather you get in part of their Roth. See if they have a Roth IRA or Roth R O T H 401k plan. Yeah. Do that. Pay your taxes now. Yeah. Because companies, especially the big companies, even though they provide you with a uh match. retirement plan, mm -hmm. a match, mm -hmm. they take a tax deduction for that match. Well. So what? No, I'm just saying it okay. ain't all you. Okay. They get okay. some back. But I think they get something for it. They benefit to the company. As they should. As they should. Most people not gonna say that's no, they that's don't. what stats say. No, they don't. So if there's a 401k Roth, Roth is the best. If they don't have a Roth, it's the one you to thine own self be true. You know you're not gonna say. You might there's it's a double-edged sword. Be true to yourself. That's amazing how people they're not gonna do it, Rob. Grown people. Come on, man. You see, you see you're talking it. about 16-year-olds. I'm talking about 60s and well, 40s you know, you, well, you and can't. 30. Well, you know, they're not going to do it. That's why social security is a godsend to a lot of people, which we know is not enough. And if you say I'm not gonna participate in the 401k i'm gonna save myself they don't do it you know you know that's why henderson finds you we're getting ready to start this uh financial wellness uh planning also good because a lot of people psychologically got issues because anytime you don't love yourself and ain't gonna pay for yourself there's something before financial planning that's going on there's some psychological you can't just tell people to on. do it they 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 you right. a grown person and they, every had, time you say they that, never put themselves first especially us women we always taking care of everybody else. We we hardly ever put ourselves first. And that's why this whole new industry of self-care and, and, you know, protecting your mental is so, so very important because we are, we, we just don't do it. We just don't do it. Okay. So, okay. so number one was budget. Number two was savings and investing, okay. understanding, investing. Let me tell you something. You need to get with a, 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 a company like Henderson Financial Group so we can kind of map out a whole plan for you when you go to the big boxes and they just you just get a fund or whatever you, you don't really understand you're just doing what they tell you to do but you don't understand okay and all you're getting you want to get understand understanding as soon as possible it's never too late mm -hmm. as long as you have a pulse but you need to understand the big picture okay okay number three um rent or buying real estate so you need a place to stay so either you're going to rent when you start now you're either going to rent or you say, okay, listen, I need to buy a home. I mean, there's some people, I was just talking to a lady who's 65 years old and she want to buy her first home. And, and, and so somebody, a realtor, called me with her on the phone and did a three-way. And I had to talk to him about, she's retiring, she wants to buy her first home. And I was telling her the different ways. I asked her her credit score. Okay. She's in the 700 club. Okay. So you have at least 700. <laughs> and I asked her, you know, if she wants to be in South Florida, it's very expensive. Um, so I told her about, um, a reverse purchase and, you know, I gathered to find out exactly how much money she set aside to buy this home. Okay. You know, okay. and she's going to be getting a pension and, uh, social security. And, uh, we, we talked about that, but you, you have to get into a point where you say, okay, now a lot of people, a lot of young people make this mistake and parents don't really help because parents don't know. Mm -hmm. Linda, you and I, who, who told you the, that your first piece of property should be a rental property? Did you get counseling or did you just knew it or what happened? I literally researched because I wanted to make money in my sleep. I had this number of 10000 a month coming in, whether I work or not. And back then, most of the um, ultra rich, the billionaires uh, made their money in real estate. How old were the you? Rockefellers. Um, probably 21-ish. Mm. 
Yeah. Well, for me, I, I I bought my first piece of real estate property as a rental. I was 20 years old. Now, I didn't do any research. I've always been what we call frugal. Always been. You know, I mean, I remember when I started dating your sister and I used to come pick her up to go to the movies and I used to put one dollar in my gas. Mm -hmm, I used uh -huh. to say, why every time you come to pick me up and we get ready to go to the movie or <laughs> or or we getting ready to go to uh, <laughs> the mall or whatever. Why we got to stop to get gas every time? And she noticed that. And then she says, then when we stopped to get gas, you would put one dollar in the tank. Let me get a dollar on number five. <laughs> The people, the people knew me in the community. They wouldn't come out to serve me one dollar because it, it wasn't self service at the time. They were supposed to come out and watch. They would say, "Oh, that's that's Robert. We're not coming out there. Do your own. Pump your own. Pump gas. your own gas. Gas was cheap then. You know, it wasn't like it is right now. Right, Four right, dollars right. a gallon. Right, right, right. But right, right. I, I used to, and then, and then it and reason and one dollar got you to a destination. Got me there and back. The only reason why I did that is because I used to have the old junky cars and I never wanted to break down and I have a tank full of gas oh that I couldn't get out. I didn't know how to cipher it out. I wasn't with that, you know? So that was my rationale. When it comes to real estate, the reason why my first piece of property <clears throat> um, to buy at 20 years old rather than buying a house mm -hmm. is because I had fear that what happened what if i lose my job and i can't afford i didn't want gotcha. them to take the house gotcha. so i said why don't i i, I thought of this on my own mm -hmm. why don't i buy a duplex mm -hmm. and i bought a brand new duplex it cost seventy thousand doing there mm -hmm. that time i was 20 years old mm -hmm. and i bought it was three one on one three bedrooms one bath on one side mm -hmm. and three bedrooms one baths on the other side and the mortgage was six hundred dollars a month so i figured my own little no counseling but just my own little mind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i said okay if I rent that side out for $500 a month, I could live in a whole new size for $100 a month. Your frugal My frugalness. Planning. <laughs> and I, so I backed in two, and that's how I bought yes, my I, first. Okay. Now, that's why we counsel a lot, and we tell young people that's going to college, and I mean, get graduating college, they're getting their first job, they're engineers, they're making seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 a year, and they want to go out and get a BMW, they want to go get a penthouse downtown and be uh, downtown uh, in Brickell Avenue, mm -hmm. and they want to live large, and we said no, because if you do that, you're going to be like your parents, your budget is going to be blown, and for the rest of your life, you're going to be living paycheck to paycheck, trying to impress people. It's best that you mm -hmm. live be below your mean Absolutely. and get that rental property. You know why? Because in 15 years or less, now we got a plan that if you buy real estate, always get a 30-year mortgage. Don't get them 15-year mortgage. Get a 30-year mortgage. You come to us, we'll show you how, without even making extra payments to the mortgage company, we'll show you how to turn a 30-year mortgage and pay it off in nine years or less. Now that's what we, so if you got a young kid and they're getting ready, they say, hey, I, I want to go find, I want you to think about investment property first because the investment property is better than a 401k i always say that because mm -hmm. one day it's, the tenant's going to pay it off for you and all that rent and cash flow is going to be yours can you give yourself a raise yeah when you raise the rent just don't raise it too much but that's cash flow for the future makes sense makes sense okay so that's number three number four mm -hmm. wealth building understanding the difference between which a lot of people still today understand what is being trying to be rich hmm. or trying to be wealthy goals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is, what your goal should be trying to get rich or trying to become wealthy. So in other words, do you want to get a statement every month um, or go online? Cause nobody gets statements these days and look at your balance and just revel in it and love it. And just, yes, yes. Look, 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 look how much I got. Okay. Or do you want to be wealthy, which to me is sustainable, is long, longer term than rich, because you get that, that term get rich quick very often. Like you say, you can tell the way a man makes his money by the way he spends it. But wealthy is just, again, options. It's just options. So I, I, I got this money, but what's my cash flow? I don't want to just see a balance. I want to see the money coming in every month and I'm still in bed. So, so who, wealth to me. So Linda, who, who told you about creating wealth, you know, having apartment units and real estate and having, you know, cash coming in 
every month. Who who told you about that at a young age? I mean, did you when, when that when you got your first rental property that gave you a clue to keep doing this? Absolutely. But no one actually said, "Hey, do no, this, do this, no. do this." No one made you. No one made me. I didn't go seek counsel. I knew if it was working for two units, what about four? <laughs> and if it was working for four units, what about eight? And if it's working for eight units, what about 16? And it's just, you know what I mean? You do the math. It was, but for me, <laughs> it, for me, when I first bought at 20, when mm -hmm. I bought that duplex mm -hmm. and, and the mortgage was 600 a month and I rented that side out for 500 and I paid a hundred when it was time to pay the mortgage, the mortgage company didn't care who paid it. They didn't care if I was getting it from a horse. I got the 500 from the next door neighbor, I'm my, my tenant, mm -hmm. and I put the 100 and I sent it to them. But when it came tax time, I got all the credit and I got all the tax deduction as if I was paying the 600 a month. I thought, I said, Lord, it be only in America. They, and they didn't even teach this in school. No. I didn't learn none of this no. in school. No. And I said, mm -mm. holy cow, you can buy property and tenants will pay it off for you and get you get the credit, you get the tax deduction, and you <clears throat> own the property. Yeah. Oh my God. I thought that was like please share with your young kids. Yes. You don't have to get the Jaguar now. No. You don't have to go to Komodo. You don't <laughs> need the hundred thousand dollar Porsche. Um, just pace yourself, build yes. wealth. Yes. Build wealth. So, so 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 let's let's talk the difference between rich okay and wealthy okay see rich mm -hmm. and wealthy is relativity in other words it's 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 it depends on where you are mm -hmm. it depends on your standard of living because some people that 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 you know got 10 million dollars saved they feel they feel like they're rich but then Try standing next to someone who has ten billion dollars saved. Got gotcha. you. Worth ten billion. Right. You you're like a pupper. Right. That's why when people say, "Papa, you man, you wealthy, wealthy. You got a lot of money." I'm like, no. I see a lot of people that got, you know, twenty billion dollars. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. me, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. You know. But now I don't measure myself with a preschooler, someone who has a million dollars. I don't <laughs> I don't measure myself with that. You know what I mean? Say so I'm better because I know that there's somebody got more than me. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it keeps me humble. Okay. So wealthy is this, because mm -hmm. if you live in Tupelo, a cocktail Mississippi, where the cost of living is much lower than living in San Francisco, New York, or or Miami. Mm -hmm. Wealthy is anytime you have enough money to cover your overhead expenses, mm -hmm. plus more, you're considered wealthy. In other words, if your overhead ex expenses, standard overhead expenses come to 5000 but you have assets and investments, regardless of the stock market, mm -hmm. that's just flowing in mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 7000 a month, $8,000 mm -hmm. a month, by golly, George, you are wealthy. You know, that's what's, that's what's causing our housing crisis. We got a lot of New Yorkers coming here, and to them, our rent is low. Yes. So they're... They can pay twenty eight hundred for a one bedroom, um, because in New York that's what they're used to, and they're working from home, so they're still getting that New York salary. But they're laughing at us about this is not expensive, so therefore rents are going up, and you know you got landlords going, I can get what, and um, it's causing a big big crisis again, relatively speaking, to them. They measuring themselves against where they came from because it's remote working, absolutely. So re remote working, Absolutely. that means you could be, you know, working South for a New sunny, York company, Florida, yep. but you can come to a, a, a relatively that's cost of living is cheaper Absolutely. and it's, it's nothing. I mean, just like if you come in from Miami, South Florida, and you go to Alabama, you could, you know. Oh, yeah. You, you, and they, used, rich, rich. they used to say, you know, a house, what you pay for a house in South Florida you go to Atlanta, you can get more house. Yeah, they used to say that. They used to say that. Oh man, the land, and I don't know if that's still so. Well, it's still you better. Ask. No, it's still relatively cheaper than exactly. you know. You get South more Florida. house. And yeah, land and yeah, because yeah. they don't have to build con concrete blocks, so it's, it's so, less so, expensive. So let's get an understanding. So your goal okay. should be to build wealth. That's what wealth is. Wealth is 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 creating a stream of income, cash flow. That's what wealth is, and that's what I go. I mean, I, we we should have been taught this. In, in, in school, in high school, 
creating, but mm. everybody was talking about rich, 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 rich. You know, you can be rich today and poor tomorrow. You can win lotto and be rich and poor tomorrow. You can be an entertainer or athlete and be rich. And 10 years from now, you're poor. But wealth, wealth happens and doesn't need you. Wealth is just a stream of income where you say, hey, it's like mm. I got a, so I got a money tree. Need you. I like that. It doesn't need you. You're making money by you mm -hmm. sleeping. You know, you have. Passive. You're not actively doing anything. That's right. Passive income. Passive income. That is, that's the golden key. What can you do that's, that's going everything. to be on auto drive? That's everything. Do you have a product or service that people are going to buy, whether you're not there? Even if you drop dead, are they still going to buy Coca-Cola? Mm -hmm. Are they still going to buy? That is the key. How can you create mm -hmm. something that will continue to give? Now, the reason why people do real estate is because they feel like people are going to always need housing. That's why real estate is easy now you don't really have to do the problem is with people here in south florida you think that you have to buy real estate just in your neck of the woods mm -hmm. no you can buy it all over the world all over the country and that's why I, I need housing everywhere people need housing everywhere as long as the cost of buying the house a rental property is cheaper and the mortgage is cheaper than what you can get in cash flow you're creating wealth you're creating wealth, and you can always get a property manager okay. all right so what's the let's we run out of time wealth retirement planning tax-free Mm. A lot of people defer, postpone, mm -hmm. defer, postpone. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to retire. They didn't know they had to pay taxes on all that money. They thought it was going to be free since they're over 59 and a half. No, you got to pay taxes for the rest of your life. And when you Never die, hurt like that. <laughs> what? Paying, paying taxes? taxes. It's like, I made this money. I got up every month. I got in traffic. Why is it so much? I can't believe I got to pay some people 28, 35%. Plus, you took an early distribution. So that's another 10%. Nothing hurts more than having that Uncle Sam coming with his hands out. And then if you don't plan properly and don't have it, oh, they knock you side to hear some more. Oh, yes, they do. Penalties. Penalties. Taxes. I mean, uh, interest. And anyway, I digress. But yeah, yeah we know we, we know about this. We know about this. <laughs> That's why we like tax-free retirement. Mm, mm, How mm. do you do? Now, a lot of you all, people still don't understand, mm -hmm. you know, if you have 500000 a million dollars, and you, you know, inside of your 401k, mm -hmm. rather than just sitting there watching this and, hey, look at me. You should be doing something while you're still working. Mm. What can you do? Okay. You can start converting piece by piece into a Roth or into life insurance. Okay. You can pay the taxes while they're low. Okay. Now, you can take 25000 out a year. Just drip. drip Just drip, drip it. Drip. Right. Drip it. Okay. So let's say you got a million dollars in, inside. You're a firefighter or whatever. Mm -hmm. You got a million dollars inside of your retirement plan. And you say you're going to retire in 10 years. Okay. What you should be doing every year is dripping some out. Just taking it out, okay. pay the taxes. Okay. Get the gum off your shoe. Okay. And put it in, in a vehicle that's going to grow tax free. Okay. You got 10 years of, to, to shift that. That way it won't hit you so hard. Right. You entire lump that's sum out. retirement okay. planning. Isn't okay. that something? It's like, it's like, okay, well, we know that we're on this turnpike and this toll costs $5. Now it's going to be costing $20. We got to look for a little spot where we can get off this turnpike <laughs> and get on 95. Gotcha, gotcha, <laughs> so we don't gotcha. have to keep paying these tolls. Then we jump back on. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, we don't want to jump back we on. Wanna we wanna, back we on. want to stay where it's tax free. All Right. Was toll free. Okay. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So that's that is the goal. You know, you want to take the route where there's not a lot of tolls. Okay. Doesn't that make sense? Makes a lot of if sense. If you want to go from here to there mm -hmm. and then take the expressway with no tolls, taxes, or you want to take the route that that you have to pay taxes, you you got to take the route, especially if you're going to arrive there at the same time. Gotcha. Gotcha. At least okay. take a look. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. most people that, that that are retiring they don't even think about the problem with the, the, the retirement tax trap. Ta the retirement tax trap is people are so busy saying when I retire I'm going to get this lump sum, and they think that whatever they see that lump sum is all theirs, but they don't mm. understand that they have a partner, that uncle, a partner. Yeah, and that partner is going to be there even if you give up the ghost and go to heaven. That partner is going to tax your wife or your children, whoever you leave it to. Forever. They're never going to stop that. <laughs> it's like gum on the shoe. You ever have gum on your shoe? You just can't get it off? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just follow you. Yeah. Yes. So retirement. I mean, tax-free retirement. Yes. That's huge. Okay. Huge. Huge. Call okay. our office and ask us about tax-free retirement. If you got a retirement plan, 401k, say, how can I start easing this baby out? We're not taking a big tax hit 
give me a plan to ease it out so in five years it's out of there or in 10 years. That's planning, man. You got to get yourself a plan. You got to get yourself you, a plan. Yes, and work it. You do. What the, the Rita said? If, if only. If I only knew these things when I was in my 20s or even in my 30s, thank God for the Henderson Financial Group. All is well. That's right. Thank you, Doretha. Thank you, Doretha. Thank you very, and, very and, much. And what we're saying, listen, we're giving out this information so you can tell others. You don't have to, you're not going to make $2 million off giving out the information by selling the kit in the package. <laughs> <laughs> Package this up and sell it, <laughs> so you too can make. Food. I don't know. You give me ideas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, these are things that innocently, mm -hmm. you know, you would think the system is set up to help its people. No, it's not. Oh, especially in school. No, college. No, Damn. you don't learn. You college doesn't teach you very much of how to make a living mm -hmm. and sustain yourself. College doesn't really, college really prepares you to work for someone else and get them rich. Mm, that, that's all it, it really does. I'm not downing college. Okay. Let's be honest. I mean, come on, a lot of people have been to college. I got people that have been to college that they're not even making a living doing what they got degrees in. Right. right that ought to right, tell right. you something. Right. I mean, come on, let's be real. I mean, really, really, you know? I mean, there's some other ancillary benefits of college, but it, if it's purely for to become wealthy, no, not so much. No, not no. so much. You, 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 yeah. and, and that's what we should, you know, okay. someone should have told us, listen, you know, you, you want to study, right about that. if you want to study botany or to study the world of ants or whatever, but why do you think that Bill Gates dropped out of college? Why do you think that Ooh, the Facebook Steve guys Jobs. dropped out, Steve Jobs, Apple dropped out of college? Let me tell you, I'm not well, down in no, college. We can't, we're not advocating dropping no, out. No, I'm not down in that. This is, look at me, I did. I, I went two years, I was out. Because let me, because I figured it out. You figured it out. I figured it out. Listen to me. <laughs> Think of you, all of us as carpenters. We all really are farmers, or we're carpenters. Mm -hmm. And it being a carpenter, being young, and even being old, mm -hmm. our job, if you're going to be a builder mm -hmm. or a carpenter, at mm -hmm. least you got to know the tools that are in the toolbox. You agree? I agree. You, I mean, okay, you, you're you not expected to all of a sudden know what a hammer is and how to use a hammer, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. at least you want to go to college or get some trade school to find out what tools in the toolbox of life mm -hmm. can I use to build what I want to build. You need to know what is a hammer. Now, I'm not literally talking about a hammer. Right, I'm right, using right. a metaphor like Jesus did in Matthews, all right? Absolutely. What is heaven, all right? right. That, that was a good one, scripture. Matthew. <laughs> what which one? Go ahead. Okay. okay. Oh, you saying Matthew? That was good. Matthew. That's a good book. Yeah. Okay. That's one of my favorites. And Proverbs. Mm, another good one. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days, days of, of my, my life. life. Woo! Man, that's good stuff. Really good. If you're on the right side and doing the right thing, got a good heart and helping, it's a guarantee that it, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Yeah. You should be good. Okay. All right. Metaphorically, mm -hmm. we all are uh, carpenters, or we all are we're, we're builders, building, okay. building our own life. Okay, okay. But most, most they don't teach you if you're going to be build. At least you got to know the tools to use mm -hmm. in the toolbox, mm -hmm. how they work. You got to know what the pliers are. Mm -hmm. You got to know what a screwdriver is. You got to know what a drill is. You got to know what a hammer, a saw. You got to know so those. Give me the tools. Give me the tools. So when Bill Gates, Apple, Stephen Jobs, mm -hmm. Facebook guys, when they went to college, once they found the tools, they were like, we got this. We don't need this no more. Gotcha. We don't need no certificate and degree. We ain't working for nobody. We need the tools to build. We need to build. Gotcha. I did the same thing. Once I went to college, and I, at first I was studying architecture. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I'm like, holy, wait a minute. This, I got the rest of my life. I want to go to Paris. I want to be driving a Porsche. I want to go to Hawaii. I want unlimited. I want, oh, let me find out the toolbox. What, what's this thing called real estate? Mm -hmm. What is this thing called stock? What's this thing well, called? Very often, I think what causes people, they even the ones that, that know it, is they having families too soon, because that's very expensive. No, well, my, I, I, had a, I had my first son, uh, Robert the third. I was 21. Heisey came, Heisey coming up next, he came at 23. 
But that ain't stop you. Either. No, I got in my toolbox and what I'm gonna need. They tell me go to class and get a degree, a degree, a certificate. I can't I can't afford no job. I got a bill unlimited yeah, I income. Afford I couldn't afford no job and I had two kids. I'm like, no, I got to uh, let me how do you work this? And it, and the tools is whether you're gonna be a cook, you gotta know what a spatula is. You got no ingredients. You got to learn how to build and how to create. So the tools of wealth building, number one, budgeting. Yes. Number two, savings and investment. Yes. Number three, to rent. Or, or real own, estate investment, or rental real, property. Or, or invest in it. Number four, wealth building. What's, what is wealth building what as opposed to being building? rich? Ah, that's a, that, I think out of all of them, that's huge. That you and know. budgeting. Number five. Retirement planning, tax-free. Tax-free is Retirement. huge. And then number six. Wills and trusts. Okay. Because if you did all the rest of that, you mm -hmm. should have an estate. Okay. And you know you ain't going to be on this planet for long. No. Because if there's a beginning, there is an ending. Everybody. Is there has, if there has been a beginning of you, there will surely be an ending of you. And you want right. to leave and, and, and let the world know I was here. Yeah, like my Uncle Willie, nobody knew he was here. They don't know Uncle Willie was here? No, nah, they don't know he, Uncle Willie was here. They don't know Uncle Willie was here. A lot of people. They gonna know I, I was here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You gonna leave that building to me? I'm gonna leave it to you. I'm gonna put my <laughs> name all on it. Uh, what? Linda V. Harris. Linda V. Harris. Where you live in the Linda V. Harris building? Oh, okay, this last number six. <laughs> number six, we're talking about wills and trusts. Uh-huh. What is a will? What is a trust? So many people, black, white, so many people, especially black people, man. Even the famous, you know, how many what? famous people die without wills or die with a will? No, a lot of them. Oh, instead of a trust, right? Ah, uh, uh, that was a tricky one, but you're right. I caught myself or die with the will as opposed to a trust, a living trust. Okay, a trust, trusts are more powerful than corporations. I want to say that again. Mm. Trusts are more powerful than corporations, they really are. Yeah. Because trust you ain't trust you ain't they're not even recorded nowhere. Mm. Corporation, mm -hmm. they can find you. <laughs> a trust, you can't find them. You can't find them. No, you can't find them. Mm. Set up a trust, you they can't find you. Where mm. they gonna look? Mm. Ghostbusters, they're gonna get a ghostbuster. Where are they gonna look? Mm. But a corporation, oh, they can find you. LLC, oh, they can find you. Gotcha. Trust. So a, gotcha. having a will is like have I always say having a will is like having a can of uncooked biscuits. In order to eat them, you got to put them in the oven. That oven is called probate. Every wheel has got to go to probate. And once you go to probate, you got a judge with a robe on. You don't know if he's drunk or not drunk. You don't know if he's trying to rust. <laughs> you know, he don't care about you because he never met you. And he going to say whatever he think needs to happen. I don't forget. You wrote it down. That don't mean nothing. You don't have the last say. When you have a wheel, your honor has the last say. And nobody can. And then you got your children, whoever got to pay for the honor to tell them what they think ought to go down. Isn't that something? That's something. That's a will. A trust, you don't need the guy with the dress on, the honor. You don't need no honor. You don't need no court. You don't need no attorney. Whatever you put down that trust, it's etched in stone. If you want to leave it to your dog, that's who getting it. If you want to leave it to the girlfriend, boyfriend, oh. that's who getting it. Mm -hmm. That's a trust. Do they cost a lot of money? Not like they used to. They're like flat screen TV. It used to cost 10000 Now you can go to Walmart and get them for $90. <laughs> Especially on President's Day. Well, I shouldn't say Walmart. You know, I want to. Walmart, I ain't playing for this advertisement. Exactly. That's what James C. would tell me. Robert, don't mention that because he's that dude there spot on when it comes to <laughs> marketing, advertising, and communication and radio. Okay. My point is, mm -hmm. trusts don't cost a lot of money. Now, if you want to talk about a trust, just give Henderson Financial. That's what we do, too. This whole financial plan, these were six steps. We talked about at the beginning, you got to have a budget. And you got to put yourself in your budget to pay yourself. And we talked about the end. Yeah, you are going to make your transitions. And nobody get off the, and nobody left here alive. Have they? <laughs> no, I have come back that I know of. But they say they do. But they say they do. People, that's another. Ooh, people, you pay people and talking to them. <laughs> Jesus, man, okay, I tell you. Not. Yeah, Lord, Jesus. All but all of these steps, the Henderson Financial Group, we can help you with. All of these steps, we can go over. We're going to start having a, a wellness. We got to have wellness. that wellness because a lot of people messed up. Yeah, well, a lot the of psychology of yeah. money is huge. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of people that just 
don't deem themselves important enough or think enough of themselves to pay themselves. A, a lot of people broken in a lot of ways for a lot of reasons, you yeah. know? So we're going to have, matter of fact, we well, got... No, I see you used to tell me, we not a social worker. We not doing this. We not social worker. We're not, but we we need, <laughs> we got a lot of people that's wounded. <laughs> we got broken wing, wings that call us. And they, yeah, 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 a lot of people. And I, I just, uh, so we're going to have like Percy who got wrote, I think Percy wrote like 12 books. And he's a client he's of great, us, yeah. but he is a psychiatrist, you know? It's he's important. Gonna be on... It's important. Yeah. It really is important. As a matter of fact, we just sent out uh, uh, a cyber uh, understanding about this whole cyber thing. So y'all sign up because I just sent that out mm -hmm. the clients. This year, we're going to be talking to you and touching you more. Because you we, we you I need saw, this. I saw a couple of them. We may want to incorporate acting classes. Acting? Yeah. Acting, what do you mean? What? what? Tell me about this. Tell me more. Go ahead. Talk. Because what are you talking about? it's, I need you to be looser and I need you to, you know, I need you. Yeah. We, we're going to talk about your delivery. What you drinking? <laughs> no, that's not <laughs> nice. You talking about acting classes? Yes. Why, why I need the acting classes for? Oh, you want me to be like Walter Conkright or something? <laughs> be up here? <laughs> no, I want you Bring to be you more the Robert news. and less Walter. You want me to be, you don't think I'm more Robert now? I think when you get on the camera, you, hi. This is, and you, you're not yourself. I don't see the playful Robert, the, at, at least the one I looked at. Maybe it was the first one. And it's like, this, it, it, okay, we'll talk. She this said, is what the vice president is for. I mean, I'm here to help push the wagon. So. Everybody who know me <laughs> know this is the real Robert. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> Listen, who is this? Uh, v says he or she. I don't know what that means, V. He or she. I don't know what that means. Tara. <laughs> uh, Tara says, "Amen to that." Okay, good. Ta amen to the trust, Tara. Amen. That's right. Amen, amen to, the to the trust. trust. Amen uh, to the trust. Uh, Jackson. Uh, and who is that? Let me see here. We ah, Doretha. Yeah, the first one. You're right, Linda. See, I want to tell you nothing wrong. It was a little stiff. And, well, she, and might, well, she might not be talking about acting. Doretha. She just said, I "Yeah, just, the first one. You're right, Linda." And all I was you saying, see what Tara says. What Tara says. Robert don't need to change. <laughs> you tell him. You tell him. But That's you real. were more Walter Con Okay, we'll talk about this off camera. Man. Well, what did the Delar Lawrence says? You have to become rich in your mind first, and then and rich that's why that in your money financial account. wellness is important. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Because I, yeah, you got to see yourself as rich. You got to say, God darn it, I want it, and nothing gonna stop it, and and you just gotta have that that eye of the tiger, and you just gotta you gotta get you gotta, mm, you gotta get, get out of my way. Get rid of that fear. Get rid of that fear. Yeah. What time is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's uh nine nine oh six. Boy, I tell you, we started a little late. I think we started like eight oh three. You know? Yeah, we did. We People were here like, where are they? Where are they? You know? But okay, listen, we got buy Black Black History Month. Try to just support your local Black businesses, even if you're not Black. I mean, come into our community. We're doing a lot of great things. Um, go to the library. Go to the. I was at the African American Cultural. Well, how was that? How was that? Wonderful. Oh, Wonderful. Good. They they um. You know, unveiled some some black art. It was wonderful. They had the African dancers, and you know, we talked a little bit about Black history, but it's it's important. And um, Super Bowl, any bets? Nah, I mean, I ain't betting my money. You know that. I ain't betting my money on something. <laughs> I ain't playing either. Any <laughs> you, predictions? No, I could care less. You just want a good game. Yeah, I don't want to be a boy. I want to be a high scoring game. Okay. Yeah, but right. I, I I could care less. I'm not into that. Okay. I left that a long time ago at Optimism when I used to play. <laughs> I don't get I don't get into it like that. You don't know the stats of the players and <laughs> when they went to college. And... How's how, how's me knowing the stats and the players and when they get to college? How's that gonna help me in my wealth building? Zero. Is it not part of the tools? Not part of these tools. I just named <laughs> knowing the stats of an athlete when you ain't playing. That ain't part of Robert Henderson. No, I'm zero. I'm tight into what my, my goals and my objective, brother. Sister. All right. All right. <laughs> Listen, um, my Half daughter. Time show. That's the only reason I'll be watching. Oh, oh yeah, they, oh, they have Snoop Dogg now, hip -hop, right? One yeah. of the, I think probably the first hip hop show that uh, oh, halftime is yeah, ever done. Half time. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. All right. So, uh, my daughter Heist is coming up. She's coming up. Uh, she's gonna have something to inspire you about. That's gonna be nine thirty ish, and then after that, she'll get. She gets off. Me and James, she has to run off at ten fifteen. So we'll probably come on ten fifteen, ten twenty. But we'll be back. That's the understanding part two show and antonio woodbury is going to be joining us because 
uh, he has a lot to say. Antonio is like the number one Medicare, especially here in, in, in South Florida. He is really good. And plus, in terms of he does real estate and, you know, he does a lot. I mean, he helps a lot of elderly people and he's really, really have learned a lot. And he wants to share that with you guys. He's going to talk to James T and 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 myself uh, at the 1015 show. Uh, yes. So stay tuned. Keep it locked. And like Linda said, stay safe. The Super Bowl is this weekend. Black history. Learn something new that you didn't yeah. know about black history, whether you're black, white, Spanish, or whatever. Did you guys know that the black man uh, 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 invented the, 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 the traffic light? Did you all know that? Wow. I mean, yeah. I knew that from <laughs> back brag. in the day. Don't brag. You know? Tell me something you just learned. Um... Give me a minute. Black I man learn every day. The black man invented donut. Oh, the dun 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 the music. That's Scott Joplin. Yeah. That, that was today. That was today. What, what about the black man invented donut? Huh? The donut? Yes. What? <laughs> okay. All right. So much more. So much more. All right. Listen, we got to go. Love you. Peace. Make sure that you cover up because a lot of people walking around here were not covered up. They're like this variant is gone. They're like they ain't no nothing out there. You got to wear your mask, man. You know, people still dying. So, you know, and they still putting out false stuff, but not me. You believe whatever you want to believe. I'm not trying to tell you what to believe. But whatever it is, I wish you wellness. I wish you peace. Listen, for financial planning, please call the Henderson Financial Group. We can discuss these six steps in terms of financial planning and prosperity. Our telephone number is 305-825-1444. You can also look at us on, look for us on the internet. You can go to www the T H E Henderson Financial Group.com. www.thehenderson Financial Group.com. You can catch us also on YouTube. Um, we're pretty good there too because some people don't have Facebook. But listen, enjoy the rest of your weekend and be safe. We got to go. Peace.